Looking at the complete output of the RSM function for a first order model, we can see the table with the regression coefficients, the analysis of variance of the model, both of them we have already discussed, and the direction of the steepest ascent. In the contour plot, the direction of the steepest ascent is perpendicular to the contour lines. It indicates the direction of the maximum increase in the response. The information in the RSM output tells us the relative variation between the two factors being studied. To follow the path of the steepest ascent in this design, for each 4.6 minutes of increase in time, we should increase the temperature by 1.9 degrees. The mathematical form is delta temperature equal to 1.9 divided by 4.6 times delta time. For instance, if we decide that we will increase the time by 10 minutes in our next test, the temperature should be increased by 4 degrees. Let's do it. Starting from the central point, our next experimental conditions are 45 minutes and 159 degrees. Running the test, the resulting yield was 42.9% higher than the starting point, 40.5%. So let's continue following the steepest ascent. The next experimental conditions will be 55 minutes and 163 degrees. The resulting yield is 49.7%, again higher than the previous one. It seems that we are indeed on the right path. Then let's continue and test the conditions 65 minutes and 167 degrees. The result shows the yield continues to increase. So still following the steepest ascent, the next test, 75 minutes and 171 degrees, results in yield of 70.4%. Now the next test, 85 minutes and 175 degrees, shows yield of 80.3%, still increasing. But the next one, 95 minutes and 179 degrees, results in yield of 75.1%, lower than the result of the previous conditions. It seems that the conditions around 85 minutes and 175 degrees are in the experimental space of the highest yield. Let's check this assumption by building an experimental design around this point. We can use the conditions of 85 minutes and 175 degrees as the central point. The ranges of the time and temperature for the design can be chosen freely. Let's go with the same range used in the first design, 10 minutes and 10 degrees. The temperature will vary from 170 to 180 degrees and the reaction time from 80 to 90 minutes. The design was run as a single replicate in the factorial points and with five replicates at the central point. The relationship between the coded and the natural variables are given in the slide. Let's analyze the data together. Please download the R code and the data files, and let's jump to R. 